Hi, and thanks for joining me for this quick lesson. So today we're going to make an augmented reality snowstorm, and we're going to bring that to life in the world around you. For this to work, we're going to do five quick steps, and you can pause after each one to catch up if you like. Step one is we're going to use Keynote to design our snowflakes. We'll do these by drawing them and by using some symbols. In step two, we're going to take our drawings and export them and save them as PNG images. Step three, we're going to import those images into a program called AR Maker. And then with step four, we're going to make those images turn into real life in the world around us by positioning them in AR. Finally, in step five, we're going to record and save our augmented reality snowstorm so you can share it with your friends and family. This is what we're going to make, and I've set my snowflakes up in my garden, but you can put them in your classroom, in your home, anywhere you like, and you can make your own wintry scene just like this. Before we get started, there's a couple of things you're going to need. So obviously an iPad, and make sure you've got Keynote and AR Maker installed on there. You're also going to want possibly an Apple Pencil or a Logitech Crayon, but they are optional. You don't need them to complete the activity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's jump straight in with step number one. Here we go. I'm going to open up Keynote. And the first thing I want to do is create a new blank presentation. So I'll make a new document. I'll choose one of the simple templates and I'll delete the text boxes on that screen. Now, at the moment, it's got a black or a white background and I want that background to be transparent, so see-through. I'm going to press the format brush in the top corner and then go down to background. From here, I can choose the no fill option. Next up, we're going to add some snowflakes from the symbol library. So tap on the plus button and then go to the object browser. From here, I'm going to search the word snowflake. There are two different options built into Keynote and we'll use both of them, one at a time. When I tap on there, the color is black, so you can't actually see it at the moment. So let's press the format brush and then we'll change the style to white. Then we'll do the same for the second snowflake, make that white as well. And then by tapping once to highlight them, we can copy, tap in a blank space and paste. The goal is to fill your page with as many snowflakes as you can. Make some bigger, some smaller, maybe turn some slightly to make them different angles. When you've filled your page, press the plus button to add a new slide and create a new blank slide. Again, make sure the background is no fill by going to format and then background, and then you can get started with your next page of snowflakes. Of course, the other way to make your snowflakes is to draw them with a Logitech crayon or an Apple pencil. So tap the stylus straight on the screen to go into drawing mode, go on the pen tool, change the color to white, and then you can start drawing your own unique snowflakes. Remember, every snowflake is different and there's no right or wrong way to do this. I tend to do like kind of a six pointed shape with little branches like trees coming off of them. And again, just like before, you can tap on them to select, copy, paste, rotate, resize, and fill your page. I would say try and get at least two pages of snowflakes, but you can do more if you want. And the more you have, the better your snowstorm will be at the end of the lesson. Feel free to pause the video for a second here while you catch up, and when you're ready, we'll move straight on to step number two. Now we've drawn our snowflakes, you want to export them to use in a different program. So tap on the three dots in the top right corner, then go down to export, and here you're going to choose images. On the images screen, make sure you've got the PNG formats chosen, and make sure the transparency is selected as well. That means you'll get your snowflakes, but you won't get a coloured background, which is really important for augmented reality. When you've checked your settings, press export in the top corner, and then when the option comes up, you're going to save images. That will put them in the camera roll for you, and then you can use them in just a minute's time. It might be worth taking another pause here, so feel free to pause the video, have a few minutes to catch up and export your images, and then we'll go on to step number three. Excitingly, it's now time to start using AR Maker to bring our snowflakes to life. So open up the app and then create a new scene. Tap on Start and then you'll be asked to move your device around to find a flat surface. I'm using my garden, it's a nice big open space, but you can use anywhere you like. When you get that grid up here on the floor, you're good to go. So tap on it to confirm and then you should be able to start adding in your objects. This is a really simple process to import your snowflakes. So you're going to tap on the new circle and then you're going to press the little folder icon to bring up the photos browser. From here, you're going to choose the, probably the most recent images in your camera roll. Because they've got a transparent background, it looks a bit weird here. It looks like a white box, but I promise there's snowflakes in there somewhere. So tap on the first one, then you're going to press the tick to confirm and the tick to confirm it again. And now it should show up on the left hand side as one of your assets in AR Maker. I'm going to repeat this for my second page of snowflakes. And if you've done more than two pages, you need to repeat the process again for each one. Then, on the left-hand side of AR Maker, you'll be able to browse all the way through your different pages of snowflakes. 
Let's take a quick break here. Feel free to pause the video while you catch up. And when you're ready in your own time, we'll start step number four. Now we've got our snowflakes imported and we've got an area on the ground set up in AR Maker, we can tap onto the first page of snowflakes and then we can position them in the real world somewhere. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have maybe five or six, maybe even more, vertical sheets of snowflakes lined up one behind the other. And that means when you move your device through them, it'll be like walking through the snow. Watch what I'm doing now, how I'm positioning them at different distances away from myself, and I'm making some bigger and some smaller to create some variation as well. It might be your snowflakes appear flat on the ground. If that's the case, use a finger and just flick them and that will make it go vertical. If you flick down, they'll go horizontal, and if you flick up, they'll go vertical. We want our snowflakes vertical. My winter scene is quickly taking shape. This is a good time to have another quick pause while you position all your snowflakes in AR. When you're ready, we'll go on to step number five. All right, fifth and final step, we're going to record our augmented reality snowstorm. On the left hand side where you've got your assets, press a little back button to hide that panel. That will then give you the option to do a screen recording in AR Maker. It may ask you for permission to use the microphone or the camera, allow that, and then you can start recording your own journey through your snowflakes. If you're doing it by yourself, you can move the iPad through the snowflakes, but if you're doing it with friends or family, why not get one of them to hold it and then you yourself can walk through the snowflakes? It would be really special for you to be in your video as well, perhaps. When you've finished, press stop, and that will then automatically save it in the photos album of the camera roll. I'm going to press the menu button in the top left corner, and I'm going to save my scene so I can open it again next time. I'll rename it snowflakes so I can remember what it is, and then that's it, our project is complete. Again, if you want to have a quick pause and complete that last step, feel free, this is a great time to do that. But if you've finished, congrats and well done for finishing this quick lesson. I hope you've had fun. I've had fun teaching you all about it. And this is a great activity for loads of different purposes. It hasn't just got to be snowflakes, has it? You can make anything like this. I'd love to see what you've made. So why not share them in the comments below or on Twitter using the hashtag quick lessons. That's it from me now. Do be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll get more quick lessons and quick tips as they're released. And feel free to give the video a like as well, so I know you've enjoyed taking part. Until next time, see you later.